everybody and welcome to another segment of astrologyanswers.com's weekly forecast. My name is Terence Gardino. The week begins on Monday, August the 24th, and there's a lot of planetary activity, but it's mostly positive. We're going to have a lot of Mercury, the planet of decision making, curiosity, that's being very much activated. Venus, the planet of relationships and harmony, that's going to be very active. But let's start with Monday the 24th. The moon is in Scorpio for a couple of days as it is once a month. Remember the moon sets the public tone and Scorpio it's always this intense all or nothing kind of a, a passionate energies. But that moon in Scorpio is going to be very favorable with peace seeking, pleasure seeking Venus, um, also in harmony with um, compassionate, idealistic Neptune. So the emotional tone is good, which is going to help that Mars, um, ambitious, assertive Mars, is going to be in conflict with restricted Saturn. Now, it's just energy, and Mars, Saturn, when it gets, when the Mars, the warrior planet, the fiery planet, gets blocked and frustrated by that contracting Saturn, it can create a great deal of frustration. Um, but if you channel the energy, you can accomplish a great deal of work. And even if you're just feeling exhausted and frustrated emotionally, you're going to be, be probably being able to see the bigger picture and not let it, um, you know, really uh, make you depressed or really discouraged. And remember, a lot of work can be accomplished on Tuesday. Now, discerning communication Mercury is in harmony with innovative, um, brilliant Uranus. Mercury favoring, favorable with Uranus is great for learning new technical skills, um, uh, um, um, getting more involved with the internet, with technology. At the same time, pleasure-seeking relational Venus is being triggered by expansive Jupiter. There is a, can be a downside because these two planets are in opposition or confrontation, but they're the two great benefic planets in the chart. So basically what it means, and this can occur about once a year, is overindulgence, spending too much money, drinking too much, eating too much high calorie foods, but I always say with all that overindulgence with Jupiter, the Venus is putting a smile on your face. You might, with the Mercury, be making some impulsive decisions with the Uranus that could, um, to spend a lot of money. You might be purchasing a luxury item or a very expensive item. On Wednesday, the Moon is in Sagittarius, um, which is more upbeat, enthusiastic, more outgoing energy. Um, but by the, uh, around 4.45 p.m. Pacific time, and then for that next hour or two after that, um, the moon is going to be in conflict with Neptune. This could be where you're starting to get a bit too idealistic, too dreamy, and if you're not grounded, ultimately you could be disappointed. But you could be feeling a lot of euphoria, just keep it grounded. Thursday, now the moon goes into more calculating, pragmatic Capricorn by around 10.30 a.m. Pacific time over those next two and a half days. Moon and Capricorn, very organized, um, very business-minded, and Venus, pleasure-seeking Venus, will be in harmony with dreamy Neptune. In fact, this, 
this, it's called a trine, where Venus is trining or in a 120 degree angle with Neptune for artists, because Venus is also the planet of art, um, that with that Neptune, this can be a creative peak, a day of creative inspiration. Or you could just be um, watching a film and be swept away by the magic of it. That's the Neptune. But romantically, Venus is the planet of love. And when it's in harmony with Neptune, it is romantic, romanticism par excellence. You could be completely swept away. Um, fortunately, the moon's in Capricorn, helping you keep it real. On Friday, the moon, continuing in practical Capricorn, will be in harmony with decision-making Mercury. It'll be crossing over lucky, optimistic Jupiter, and later favorable with idealistic Neptune. So Friday is a really good day um, for business, because the moon's in Capricorn, um, but also making long-range plans. That's the moon, Jupiter, the moon with Mercury, any kind of brainstorming and discussions. So it could also be very good for writing, for studying, or for doing any kind of promoting, marketing your website. Saturday, the moon continues in Capricorn, but it's going to be crossing over more of this compulsive Pluto and then restricted Saturn. So there's going to be some emotional bumps in the road. But fortunately, Mercury, decision-making, analytical Mercury, is going to be in harmony, a trine, to expansive, optimistic Jupiter. So I th Mercury, Jupiter can give, uh, give you the wisdom to pull back and see the bigger picture. And also, with that moon to Pluto and Saturn, you may come across some obstacles, but the Mercury Jupiter will help you find the solutions. And on Sunday, now Venus is going to be, <coughs> sorry, in opposition to in compulsive Pluto. Now this could be on one hand, um, a lot of intense manipulation, power struggles in close relationships. <clears throat> but on the positive, that Pluto can trigger a really intimate, deep, riching connection. So if you're having problems in a relationship, I would say back away. But if something is stirring and it's looking good, this can also be very romantic. Plus, Mercury, planet communication Mercury, is opposite Neptune. So you got to be careful with Venus opposite Pluto, with Mercury opposite Neptune. You could be, with the Mercury Neptune, you could be deluding yourself, um, not dealing with reality, and then um, think you're falling in love with the Venus Pluto and then be disappointed because you're, because you're not dealing, as I said, with reality. But there is a positive, and that Mercury Neptune can trigger a lot of empathy and compassion for others. And that Venus Pluto could really trigger a lot of unconditional love. So it is a Sunday and the best of this energy could be um, really helping those in need um, and making a real <coughs> contribution. Before I sign off, I want to remind you I'm available for the one question offer for a nominal fee. You can find a direct link to order it in the description box below. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you tune in next week with my next segment. Until next week, be safe and well.